guys welcome to my channel i'm bella today i'm going to attempt to dye my hair blonde with the dark and lovely light golden blonde i chose this dye because this specifically was marketed to black women with curly or kinky hair and the other dyes of course it shows on the box someone with straight hair specifically a caucasian on the box it specifically says hair color brand designed for women of color so without further ado let me take you in what i messed up on and how i got this brown i don't know which one to get i think i finally found one it's this one so hopefully it works hopefully it comes out like this She's very pretty. Oh my goodness. Let you see no flags indicating that there's a video camera here where the hair color products are. You turn here, you will see the black hair products and you will see two tags indicating that there's a video camera. So I washed my hair yesterday and even though on the instructions it said don't wash your hair because it's something about like you don't want breakage so pretty much you want your natural oils to like protect your hair a little but i washed it anyways i'm going to be applying this on dry hair like it said in the instructions and i have a shirt that i don't really care about that i can get messy in it's already been used for dye i decided i wanted to do blonde because i was like i want to do something crazy with my hair so why not go blonde the gloves that came in the package were crappy and they didn't fit my dad's hands so we had to use the only gloves we had on the instructions it says part your hair into four sections but i parted it into six sections so it can really get worked into my hair and evenly I didn't want my whole head blonde. I just wanted like the ends and I wanted my roots to stay black. So as you can see, he's not applying it to my roots. So my dad just finished dyeing it and i don't see any difference so far but i guess i shouldn't expect a drastic difference in like a couple minutes so i'm going to wait 40 to 45 minutes and see how it goes so it's been about 50 minutes now i'm going to rinse it out and put on this conditioner that they gave me unfortunately it does have silicone in it and I do not like silicone, but I'm going to use it anyway. Now, it doesn't look like it's blonde. It looks actually like brownish. On the package, it looks like pretty blonde, like honey blonde, but this looks like just a light brown. But let's see after I get out the shower. I don't even know what to say one side is lighter than the other it's not even blonde like it said it would be it's like a brownish it said black hair we'll turn to this i left it in for about 50 55 minutes and it's it's looking like this medium brown i don't know if i did something wrong if i didn't put the dye on properly or was it the dye i don't know as for the conditioner that I used in the shower, it wasn't as great as I thought. Since it's all creamy, I would think that it's hydrating and it would do something, but no, it had about no slip, even though it's very creamy and it did not hydrate my hair. So guys, it's the next day and my hair is brown. Although it's brown, it's not too bad looking, but I'm just... A little upset that it didn't come out the way I thought it would come out. So yesterday I was pretty upset. I thought it was the dye, but I think it's the way I dyed my hair. I think the sections were too big 
and it wasn't worked into my hair long enough or something. I don't think it's the dye because there are some parts that are the honey blonde like it said. So that just shows that it can turn my black hair honey blonde. I just did something wrong. I don't think I'm going to dye it again because I'm afraid of what it will do to my hair. So I'm gonna just stick with this color. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe and like the video. In my description, I will be linking other videos that are related to hair. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.